Hello and welcome to the nation's digital news with Otto Wee Thang Mi Sang. Here are today's top stories. Two tests wanted for their alleged involvement in a botched bomb attack near the offices of a political party have arrived at Suwanipum Airport after being arrested in Cambodia's Siem Reap province over the weekend. The Department of Spatial Investigation, or DSI, on Monday were prepared to bring the two Thai suspected of planning bombs at the Pum Tsai Hai Party's headquarters to trial. DSI Chief Tarit Peng said the Thai government has arranged for Police Lieutenant General Asawin Kwan Meng, an officer from the Department of Foreign Affairs, to take charge. He added that there are not secret agents sent by the government. Warisa Riya Bun Song, 42 years old, and Gop Chai Bun Plot, 41 years old, arrived in Bangkok this morning. They were turned over at the DSI this afternoon, and both were remanded in custody pending further investigation, as the attack took place while the capital was still under the emergency decree. According to the Criminal Procedural Court, they will be detained for 48 hours. Warisariya and Gapchai worked during a press conference at the airport, admitting that they, are, they were red shirt members, but stating they were not behind the last month's watched bomb attack on the Pumzai Thai Party's headquarters. The first report of the capture of Warisariya and Gapchai came Saturday afternoon from the Cambodia Consul General's office in Satya Oranya Pradesh border town. The two were located and apprehended in Siem Reap, Cambodia. They are among four people accused of providing logistic support for a list bomber. Anate Singh Kuntot, who was wounded when the explosive hit them in a motorcycle with a sidecar modified into a first stall, went off prematurely. Two other suspects implicated by Anate, Gampon Kam Kong and De Pon Putatong, were arrested in the days following the attack. Not to say can one related to the first one. De Deputy Prime Minister So Tepter Swan on Monday declined to comment why Cambodia did not arrest and return a leading red shirt leader, Arisaman Pongrenra, who is reportedly taking refuge in Cambodia. So Tep said many people have asked the same question. We should not jump to conclusions, we should wait and see, Sutep said. Over the weekend, Cambodia has detained two Thais, Warisari Yabun Song, 42 years old, and Gop Chai Bun Pla, 41 years old, wanted in Thailand for allegedly plotting last month's botched bomb attack on the Pum Tsai Thai Party's headquarters. Both of them were sent back to Thailand on Monday. Although there is no request from the Thai government, the Cambodian government has decided to arrest and send the two tourists back to Thailand. The Cambodian Foreign Ministry was quoted by Agents Defense Press as saying in a statement issued Saturday evening. Phnom Penh's moves surprised the Thai side. Many have asked why Cambodia arrested the duo and not arrest a man who narrowly escaped Thailand after the ending of the Rajapasong rally. He is not believed to be taking shelter in Cambodia. Apart from Arisaman, other red church leaders reported, reportedly residing in Cambodia include Zakapok Penke. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned with us at worldweb.nationmultimedia.com.